All right, today is Saturday, January 30th, 2016. It's about 12 noon, and it's a nice day outside. It's like almost 50 degrees. I uh, got a heavy wind, but otherwise it's a really nice day. So I thought I'd come out and do a little bit of shooting. Uh, what I'm working on today is uh, I've had a long layoff. Uh, I went out to school in November in Oregon, and so I trained up for that and was pretty sharp. But since then, I haven't shot very much. It's been a couple months since I've shot hardly at all. I've been teaching a lot. I've been very busy, but just haven't had any time to shoot between work and having uh, short daylight hours and just being busy all the time and just the bad weather. So it's hard to shoot this time of year. Uh, so having a long layoff, not feeling well, um, being sick as a dog, uh, what I want to work on today is just getting confidence in my, regaining confidence in my trigger control. And the best way I know how to do that, I, I normally shoot a 1911, which has a short, light trigger press. It's easy to get sloppy on that if you're not careful. And when I find myself getting sloppy, or when I've had a long layoff, what I like to do is go back and the basics and shoot a double action revolver. Uh, so I'm, today I'm going to be shooting my Smith & Wesson 27-2. It's a 357. It's a built in 1975, so it's a nice old classic gun. Got a nice double action, steady, uh, smooth, steady uh, press on the trigger. About 10 or 12 pounds, uh, uh, double action. Uh, so with that gun, while it's nice and smooth, um, it's hard to anticipate exactly when the gun's going to fire. I bring the trigger straight back towards my eyeball one hair at a time, but I don't know exactly when it's going to fire, so it's much harder to anticipate that than it is my short light trigger on my 1911. So it kind of makes me develop confidence in my trigger press. Actually, it's more like rolling a, a bowling ball. It's like rolling the trigger back instead of pressing the trigger back. So what I'm going to do today, just uh, to have something to work on here, is just, and I haven't shot this in a long time, I'm going to shoot the Opata qualification course for a revolver. It's very similar to the uh, semi-auto course, 25 rounds. There's only one main difference, and that's at the, on the reload stage. It's just a slight difference, actually, but otherwise it's identical. So the first stage here, I always shoot the second stage first and shoot the first stage last. But the first stage I'm going to shoot is the second stage. It's nine feet. you got five seconds to draw. Shoot two in the heart and one in the head. So here we go. All right, stage three is going to be at 12 feet. You've got eight seconds to draw, strong hand only, and fire four rounds. So same as the semi-auto stage, four rounds, strong hand only, in eight seconds. Here we go. Now the next stage, I'm going to put the gun in my weak hand, my left hand. I've got seven seconds from the ready position to fire four rounds at 12 feet and seven seconds. Here we go. All right, I'm going to leave the gun with two rounds in it. Let's see what my group looks like so far. So far, so good. Making good steady presses on the trigger getting it rolled straight back now I'm gonna go back to 20 feet got two rounds in the gun I've got a speed loader and a speed loader pouch on my belt now the reload stage is slightly different than the semi-auto version the reload stage you're gonna draw fire two rounds at that point you'll have an empty gun you'll do a reload with the uh, speed loader and then fire four rounds so two two plus four for six rounds at 20 feet they give you a little bit more time on this, they give you 14 seconds instead of 12. So here we go, no rush. All right, 30 feet, three rounds. Last stage is 50 feet, two rounds, eight seconds. Here we go. All 
and our final stage is shot at four feet from retention three rounds five seconds all right so there's the pilot qualification 25 rounds with a revolver